Welcome back everyone to the bomb characters the one hour video hooray. Oh my god. Look at this vein buster Is it me or did this change uh, sprites a little bit now? It looks like it looks very threatening is what it looks like. But yeah, we're back here Finally for the one hour episode finish the Hardcore character so we should be able to do a bunch of stuff here. Give me some enemy repellent. That's fucking rude I don't got no gold for it But uh, we got some bosses to fight we fought all of them from Thorium uh, we have not fought Clampula. Who in the Clampula? Gold. Golden Clam. Seashell. Five coral, five gold bars. Or platinum. So five. What was it? It's five seashells after that? Where do I put seashells at? Where did I put young seashells at? Let's move some stuff. I remove Urgen, so a couple things should be missing. Uh, here we go. Seashells. Five of those. Okay. No, oh, it's just one seashell. And then five coral. So, this doesn't actually have a crafting recipe anywhere. Like, obtainable crafting recipe. It just says a crafting recipe. And look, it doesn't say where you can craft it. So, we will get rid of all our items there. And we will spawn it in. What's it called? Golden clam? Golden. Let's see here. There it is. Boom. So we gotta fight this boss, we also gotta fight the queen, not queen, the antlion queen, I guess queen. I uh, don't know how to spawn that one in, if there's a way to spawn that one in without having to search for antes. Yeah, there is. But we need antlion legs though. What do we need antlion legs? Four of those. Okay. Okay, that's not the hardest thing. Look at all this shit, this shit looks cool. Uh, who else do we need to fight? Uh, we need to find a boss I need to spawn in during the goblin invasion. So let's do that one. We'll do that boss first, okay? Where is... Who sells goblin invasion stuff? You don't. I'll tell you who doesn't. Him. He doesn't. Slime crown. Do I not have a goblin? Uh, I guess I haven't fought a goblin invasion. What world is this? Is crimson? I don't know. Whatever. Can I just fight this guy? Oh, I can. Hey! How you doing? How are you doing, kind sir? Come like step on these explosions. Dude, these these explode on contact. Dude, I can shoot this backwards. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Dude, the velocity of these grenades are crazy. <laughs> that's my favorite thing about them. Is how fast I can like launch them at somebody. Okay. Well, we'll do this then. We'll start launching these at my boy. It's not the hardest fight. I might be finding them a little bit farther in than I'm supposed to be, but it's all good. Treasure bag. Oh my god, he gave me a lot of shit. He gave me a lot of shit. Hard eye of Clampula. Watch out, guys. That bitch hard. <laughs> okay. He gave me a lot of gems, though. Omniscient pearl. I'm pretty sure this does not have any use for us. Right now, especially. See, just wanna... Oh, wait, no. I can't use these yet. I can only use those in hard mode. So, let's go ahead. Toss them in here, then. So, that's one boss down. Next fly next is the uh golem go goblin one so i'm gonna go break unless i can make a battle standard how do you make a battle standard battle standard we need tattered claw excuse you what you can't craft tattered claw well, that sucks the fuck i don't have a mod in here that allows you to craft tattered claw all right then i see you so i'm gonna go run to the Crimson, I guess. Oh, wait, hold up. In the desert, might as well see if we can get some of those uh, antline legs or the fuck they're called. Uh, oh my god, I forgot this is a completely new world. I already forgot this is a completely new world for this character, so it's gonna be pretty hard getting some places here and there. Yep. I'm gonna look for these legs and then I'm gonna go break a bunch of orbs off camera. Uh, because I want to get. What's his face to spawn? Hold up, there's an anti over here. Before I do that, let's, let's try our chances. Let's try our chances at an ant. Boom. Whoa, shit. Drop a leg. He didn't do it. All right, hopefully breaking all of these will uh, help help us get the goblins to spawn. I don't remember how it works, to be honest. Can you not touch me like that? Disgusting. Disgusting. I never asked to be touched like that. I never gave you permission to be touching me like this. Okay, what's gonna be the best way to do this fight, you ask? Obviously without fucking platforms to stand on. Whatever. 
No, we can probably just do this. It's probably ten more, ten times more effective. Where is he even at? There he is. Who's this wandering creeper? That creeper wandering. Watch out, everyone. Oh shit, we're an expert. Keep forgetting that I moved this character to expert. So I played this character so much that uh, I always forget. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I actually need to kill this guy. Sir, I'm coming over here. I made a really good pickaxe. It's really bad. Okay, so. Hello. I just need you dead. I need your slime. I do want to fight. God. Slime God. That's something I want to accomplish this episode. If possible. Get out of here. Ooh, hey, another one? I'll take another one. But yeah. We want to fight him. Possibly the Wall of Flesh, too. Unlikely we want to move this character into extra mode. Extra mode, hard mode. That would be ideal. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely be seeing what happens. Everyone just like get out of here. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it nice and peaceful here. I'm trying to have any monsters anywhere. Okay. So I'm gonna break some more of these. Would you look at that? Nice. Nice. I was actually thinking that I'd have to go farm battle standards, but the game's just like no 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 no. You're good. You're good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank God for that. Oh, I really didn't feel like farming that. So I don't think this counts as an explosive weapon, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Oop, there we go. Toy vending machine. I don't remember how that works. There might be some cool shit we can do with that. So once we get at least uh I'll say fifty percent through this invasion, we will summon in the boss, that being the goblin king. Nice little boss, he shouldn't be too tough for us. Oh my god, we're gonna lose Emerald! Oh, he's already here. Look at that, he summoned on his own. Look at that. I did not know he did that on his own. Okay, so. This might actually be fun. This might be a fun invasion until I destroy this man. Sorry. What the fuck can I go? I'm gonna lie there. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I don't even have spawn rates up or anything. There's just a million goblins naturally? Does he summon this many? You need to get out of here, dude. You need to be out. There we go. There we go. I can't do these fools. I can't get them. There we go. Everybody clear out. It's my stuff. That didn't go too bad at all. Alright, well there you go. It's cool that he spawned in on his own. I not know if he spawned in on his own or not. There was a couple updates to uh, the Nightmares on each mod. True Eater, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know why it's called Nightmares on Leash, but it's also called True Eater in game. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe that gets sorted out eventually because it's pretty confusing to have it under two aliases. I'm getting a phone call. I'm just gonna not answer it. <laughs> oh, another one spawned. Get out of here. So maybe he's like the event boss. Pretty hard mode event boss. Yeah. See, it says the goblin invasion is over. But we still got tons of them to be fighting right now. Come back here, man. Come take this like a man. I think the fucking the shadow shadow flame balls in the air. My grenades keep on exploding on them. Ow! Come up. There we go. Give me the hearts. Get the hearts. Get the hearts. I don't know where you guys think you're running off to. You ain't getting away. Okay. Smell that. Holy spirit balls everywhere. Guy the cook. Wow. I get it. Like young Fieri. All right, that that went that went fine. Killed two of them. I'll take you. I don't remember what they dropped for loot. I don't think they dropped anything special yet. They might. If they spawn in. They might drop something special now. Ooh, hold up. Hold up. Ooh, we got a trophy too. Hold up though. We got shadow. Flame Atomic. Interesting. I don't know about that. Do we consider Shadow Flame to set things on fire? I'll let you guys answer that. Because uh, I feel like if we do consider that, Shadow Flame will definitely be a step in the right direction. I'll put that in there for now. Got a bunch of crowns, which is always good. Have we fought Rook? Yeah, we have fought Rook. I'll keep the crowns anyways, though. When are crowns useful, right? Like, come on now. I can wear them. Look who sells a goblin battle standard. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so next couple set of bosses we have to fight. They're whack. So I don't like them. We're gonna fight them anyways. <laughs> our dorks, our borks, and schmenorks. Whatever the hell. Whatever their names are. Uh, grassy eggs. Let's just do the water egg first. I didn't even do that one. Do I need shark fins? Does the do we have a diver? I don't think we have a diver. Shit, dude. That's a bad thing about switching. Switching new characters. All right. We do have five. Need more shark fins though. What do we need? We need an anvil. Do I have just like an anvil chilling around? Like a regular old anvil? No. Oops. Not my pearl wood candle. Uh. There we go. Yeah, we can make we can make one out of this. Where? And well, there you go. Boom. So what's the other ones? I need eight jungle spores, eight snickers, and a vine. Oh my god. Eight jungle spores. Don't have enough of that. Everything else we don't even have. We don't have stingers? You kidding me? Jesus, man. And what was the other one? Fire blossoms and hellstone? We don't have any of that shit, guaranteed. Do I have hellstone? Oh, I do have hellstone, though. What about obsidian? Do I have obsidian chilling anywhere? I don't have obsidian. Hmm. Alright, no problem. No problem. Let's run to the ocean. That's not too far. Okay, how great. We get to craft it now. Mm -mm -mm. I'm hungry for this. Hold up. I just... I really don't like these bosses. <laughs> but... I consider them a part of the playthrough now, so it's gonna be that way. This dude low-key can hit pretty fucking hard. I'm not in the mood of dying from you. So maybe this will be more interesting than how it was in the hardcore playthrough. This guy uses his extra mode variant. Like, come on now. Why'd you regen all your health back? When was I doing that much DPS to you? What about that? What if I just throw a couple of those every second? Dude, I cannot dodge all of these. That's a whole lot of shit to dodge. Okay. So there's no mechanics about him going off the screen. We just gotta watch our DPS. That's really all. And uh, grenades do a lot of DPS per second, so hopefully this will not be the hardest task to accomplish. Very, very slow fight. I swear to god, these guys' hitboxes are fucking jank as shit. Why is it so, like, low? It's like, not even the middle of their body, it's like the lower torso. Whoop! See, it's very hard to dodge these sometimes. They like vanish and then just come out of nowhere. It's like when they go in the water. It's like they get camouflaged from it. Come on. Get them another one. There we go. So it's just going to be like this for a couple minutes. So might as well keep going. So let me talk about stuff here. Uh, we're waiting for... Currently I'm waiting for the... Uh, I guess everyone's waiting for the update for uh, Team Mod Loader. But once that comes out, I'm definitely going to fuck around with the new events. I don't know why people are asking me, like, are you gonna do anything with the new events? It's like, of course I am when they come out. Like, why wouldn't I? I don't have a reason to not, you know, fuck around with the new events. But I'm interested to see all the cool stuff there. Looks like they added in a bunch of stuff for uh, Summoner. Don't know how all that stuff works out, though. I do not understand most of it. I don't know if it's actually a part of the Summoner or if it's a part of the uh, event that goes down. Like, you can only use in the event or not. Don't tell me in the comments. I'll figure it out when we get there. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe that means I'll do a summoner playthrough or something. <laughs> by by my choice. Not by everyone's choice, but... Let's move about choices from you guys. The straw poll. Looks like everybody wants me to play, uh... A hardcore character again. Which is low-key sus. Because everyone hated Like, oh, the hardcore one got botted in the voting. Don't play it. Hardcore sucks, it'll only be a couple of episodes. Not only did I accomplish my goal in that series, but now everyone wants me to continue it? Like, hello? Speak about fucking... What is that? I ironic. Like, come on now. I don't, I don't get what's popping off of that. <laughs> but hey, I'll do it. I'll continue it. Looks like it's the one that's getting the most votes. And I'll probably take whatever one one second and do it. I don't know, maybe. It's the mage. Everyone voted the mage one second. But we'll see. I'll give it a little bit longer. Because uh, I do need to do a melee character playthrough eventually. And that needs to be done soon. Maybe after the spirit mod. After a spirit mod playthrough. Because I do really want to do that melee playthrough. But yeah, this is going to take a couple more minutes. Probably. 
gonna be fucking nighttime fighting this guy. But hey, we're taking it nice and slow. He's only regen once. That's because I was just getting my bearings. So yeah, I think this is the extra mode version. This is what he does. If it's, this is this is what he does in extra mode. This dude, pretty fucking tough. Cause those aren't easy projectiles to dodge. Hopefully the other ones aren't gonna be that tough too. Coming up on the end of the fight, it seems like the uh, Hellfire Glove is one of the best best to use against this guy. I don't know about the other ones, but this one has been doing work. Just get like one or two throws in there and he won't actually do anything about it. He won't reset his health bar. But uh, make sure we don't throw too many. Because if we throw too many, we might reset them on accident. We don't want that. Okay. Just making sure. You got to get those pauses in between. Now, it may sound like I completely grieve and hate these bosses. I do. I mean, I hate, but I do grieve when fighting them because they're fucking... It's just a long fight. It changes the flow. Terraria, which may be a good or a bad thing. But I think that's what the mod developer is going for. And I'm not here to like be like, oh, it's a terrible choice. It's just, I don't know, all the other bosses in the game, modded included, they all got a pretty fast tempo to them. I think the only one who doesn't have a quick tempo is the Moon Lord. And that's the like final boss. But uh, this couple of bosses will be fine late game in a bunch of a bunch of the series. Hold up, can I break this now? Break this tall ass tree down. Mm. We got a bunch of yummy wood from that. So we're down in the jungle, out gathering stuff for uh, Arborks. What is his name? Arborks. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Oh, watch out, Boulder! Oh, watch out! That was a close one. I almost died there. I need to make lightning boots. I really need to upgrade accessories soon. That would just be nice thing. Oh, there's loot down here. Oh, yeah, I'm down for some free loot. Night owl potion. I'll take some of that. Hold up. I need to get these spores here. Actually, do I really need these spores? What do I need? Yeah, I guess we need spores. We need stingers. We have two of those, and then we need a vine. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Hey, speak about stingers. Boom. That's another one right there. Hold on, let me get rid of this. No, just bees. Get rid of this. So we're on the hunt for stuff. What did I say? Stuff. Hornets. There we go. We're on the hunt for hornets and man man traps man snatch man snatcher is that what it's called <laughs> that sounds wrong i don't think it's called man snatcher but that's what we're on the hunt for something like that man trap it's just man trap isn't it I'm, i don't know man eater i knew it uh oh got a thick ass zombie root watch out everybody bail out he's too thick for this we got enough room for him look at that noise like spells being cast zombie leg I mean I'd love to use it but like it doesn't explode or anything alright so this dude this zombie fella just dropped some greater healing potion I'm gonna take him I'm not gonna not take him I'm gonna take him okay it's time for young Ardorks Arborks Ar Ar Arborks I was right I knew it the whole time where is he Okay, this guy is still pretty hellish, even if he doesn't have those like super effects that the uh, the other dude had, because those those like explosive bind shits, man, those those can those can hurt you pretty quick. They gotta they cover a lot of ground, like a lot of ground. So like as soon as he does it, we have to bail, run into him. But look how long those stay. They'll stay forever. It's all good. We got the same stat we're gonna use. We're probably gonna use a Hellfire Glove, and this fight shouldn't be that long then. Hopefully, he doesn't reset at any point. I hope. So, something I was thinking about doing was streaming this one hour episode, but to do that, I would have to have like the whole entire episode planned out, planned out so there'd be no jump cuts. Obviously, because it's a stream, and I can't just jump cut, <laughs> like end this stream and then restart it when I want to jump cut. But uh, yeah, that'd be something I'd have to do is plan out everything. And it's not the hardest thing to do. But I'd definitely take more time before I recorded one hour episodes. I don't know, you guys tell me about that, whether that's some you guys like to see here and there. So it'd be nice to get some like input while I'm doing it. These episodes probably wouldn't get that much done in the episodes at the same time. But uh, we'd still make progress. Cause I, I see the one hour episodes as a giant progression episode. Like take like 
three, four episodes. Just put those all together, you got a one hour episode. Probably more than one hour if you take three or four episodes. Three or four actual episodes. But like, the, in terms of progress, like three or four episodes worth of progress. Probably three. I don't know, it depends what I do. But yeah, that's what it, that's what I that's an idea I had come to my head. And I was about to do it with this, but I'm like, wait a minute, there's a lot of things I need to do off camera. But it's all good. Speak about all good, this boss fight went all good. He didn't reset once. I think I'm getting a hang of these guys. And these guys are slightly becoming my least favorite now. Becoming not my least favorite. I don't know, is that is that yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks for the crest of earth. But bam, that's another one down. That's another bird down. We just need the one in hell. And uh, I do have a way to get to hell. But instead of fighting him, how about let's take on someone else? Alright, let's take on someone else. And that someone else is gonna be the Empress Fly. I think that's her name. So we're gonna run to the swamp. We're just gonna chill down here until she spawns, I guess. Like how I did it last time in the hardcore playthrough. But I, I'll see you when she spawns. Whoa! What is this? Ink shot. Oh, I don't have ammo for it. Am Wait, does it use ammo? I just got this from killing a squid. Eh. Oh, it does use ammo. Wait, hold up. I might have ammo. Can we chill out with everyone attacking? Oh, no, I didn't put the ammo in here. Fuck off. Come on, dude. Come here. Come down here, pig. There we go. Aha, I did put ammo in here. Aw. Oh. I thought I'd score like ink everywhere. <laughs> it's still very cool though. Did not expect a weapon to even drop from them. Whoa! Oh no! What's going on? Oh god, the chest glitch is going on here. Guess who decided to make an appearance? How beautiful of you. Hold up. Let me use these potions. I bet somebody's gonna be like, does he know he can just hit B to buff? The thing is, I only want to use those potions and not everything else in my inventory. Uh, so chill out with that comment, alright? So let's get to just swinging at the Emperor's Fly. It's one of the cooler bosses from the Gages 1 body. You know, there's not too many out yet. But I like this one more than the Merc. Even because the Merc's accessories are low-key whack. Or the only accessory he drops as of right now. It doesn't... I don't know, it's just like if you live in this long then it'd be good. There's so many goddamn flies. This is disgusting! Oh, oh. I didn't even know there was maggots everywhere. You know there's like it says maggot like everywhere. I did not notice this. I was paying attention, I was paying attention to the little bit of this. Okay, hold up. Hold up, chill out. Just gotta end it. End it quick. Cause this is getting getting a little bit crazy. A whole lot of fucking flies. Hey, come back here. Where you going? Come back. Hey. Where she go? Oh yeah, I forgot they actually turned into flies. Okay. Mm. No, 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 you stop with that. Oh my. There's so many. So many maggots in there. Okay. Let's exterminate the maggots before they turn into flies. Hello? There you are, hey. What the heck? Did I hit me in the floor? Mm, we got this under control now. We got this under control now. Now that I remember that the maggots actually spawn in the flies. See? This is an unfair advantage here. You kind of just drop them inside here. Just kill them quick. Okay. Hold up. I can kill these guys. Just do that. Let that shit explode. It didn't kill them. Oh, dude. Oh, no. She's shooting the maggots out there. Hey! Come back here. Fuck it. Kill these maggots quick. I don't even know if we hit all of them. Whatever. I mean, as long as they can't get to me, we're fine. I'm gonna have to kill every single one. Uh-oh. I'm blocking that up. <laughs> blocking that up so they can't get out. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Can't hit her. Come on. Uh, uh, got her. Okay, we can bail quick. I don't want to be down here. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everybody just clear out. All right, we're good. We're out. We're out. Woo. A little bit hectic at the end. It's all good. We still made it out. Treasure bag. All right, we got the swarm gun. No bass weapon. I can't use it though. No. Sad. I cannot use it. Cause uh, my character. But it's all good. It's still. It's not gonna stop me from saying it. it's a dope ass weapon. It looks cool as hell. 
looks like ten times more threatening than the what is it? The Queen? No. The B the B gun. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. But uh that's another boss down. So now there's a couple left. I don't know how long, it's probably we're not even near an hour, I bet. We're not even near thirty minutes. But we gotta go to hell. And then once we go to hell, we'll be fine. Because we get to we get to take on the last bird boss and after that I'll feel relieved. Cause fuck the birds! Okay, I placed down this vending machine, I'm buying buying capsules. There's something inside. Open it. Okay. I got the same exact shit. Star stone and star soil. Time out here. There's some dope shit we can do with that, but I'm not gonna talk about it yet. It will just be I'll place it somewhere in the world. I won't talk about it. You guys will see, you guys will see. Alright, we're in the the amazing place they call hell. So let's fight this man. It bird let's fight this bird. Ardorix. Young Ardorix. Okay, let's chill out there. I was gonna start spamming that because it's like that was my initial reaction when a boss came out. Just spam it. Kill it as quick as possible. But we don't do that with these guys. We do not do that. Did he regen? Apparently he regen. Oh my god, we're gonna lose to this guy. This dude has some good ass abilities. What is this? What is this shit? The shit covers up like half the screen. Okay. Hold up here. Just gotta play this carefully. Just gotta. It's hard to juke those. They like do. They have such a weird movement. They start like moving upwards all of a sudden. I'm just watching those more than I'm trying to hit them. Oh. Okay. It's all good. We got this. We need some pie. Get some health regen popping off. Uh, but yeah, these guys have a lot of particle effects. Oh god. Oh god. I'm really not trying to focus on him. Dude, the, the, the movements from those are so fucking weird. And they have like a way longer, like, after image effect. After, too. After image effect. After. After they're done, they stay there even after the image is gone. But, uh, you know, we should be fine if we just continue what we're doing. Shut up watching for it. Watch it for him. Now, when he goes into his dash mode, this is where we're gonna have to get our DPS out quick. So we don't want to fucks with him in his uh, other mode. So maybe that's how this fight's gonna go. It's just waiting for the flames in this mode. Oh my god. Out. Out. See that one right there? I thought that shit was gone. Okay, hold up. I was waiting. I was waiting. Okay, slow it down. Throwing grenades a little bit too quick. A little bit too quick. But yeah, obviously this is going to be the toughest out of all of them. We might as well... Yeah, we'll just drink the juice. I don't feel like using any of the... F I don't know, should we? Yeah, we'll use some pho. So hey man, you trying to pho? Okay, so he's actually not that bad once you get the pattern down. Or once you just pretty much juke his fire. Which is not the hardest thing. You just got to find the little, little cracks in between of that. Or just completely go away from where he sp spawns them in. Walked into that one. But yeah. This is this is the harder of the mm, I don't know the water one one's pretty hard too, but I think this one and the water one have uh, their abilities are a little bit in common with each other. Like, the thing about the water one that makes them harder I feel like is how fast, how more like quick his projectiles are. This one they're pretty slow and you can find the cracks in between. The water one I just got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky just dashing in between any second, any second, any chance I got. And this guy, you know, he shit's so slow, you can, you can try and find the uh, opening. Oh, don't jump into him, though. Don't do that. If you do that, that's how you take a little bit of damage. And also, if you get hit by one, you can probably just, like, quickly run out of all the other ones before they touch you. But yeah, we have this fight in the bag. It's looking great. So who do we have after this? With the Antlion Queen, Slime God. Uh, I don't think I'm... I don't know if I'll fight the destroyer and hive mine. Oh my god, don't dip yourself in fucking lava, Jesus. I don't know if I'll I say destroyer. Uh either worlds or hive mine. Probably not. Because uh they're completely they're crimson. Not crimson, they're corruption. I don't have corruption. I know I did it for the hardcore playthrough, but like that was a hardcore playthrough. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'll do it for this because this is a regular playthrough. I usually don't do it for the just you know the regular runs. Hardcore was an exception, I guess, because I still had like maybe if we come to the end of the episode like we did in the hardcore one, we had a little bit of extra time. Yeah, I'll go do it. No reason not to. We did it. Look at that.
Our Dorix has been slain. We have defeated all of the fucking horsemen of the air. Air apocalypse. Thank God. They were not the greatest to fight. Okay, so. We're able to make the staff now. Actually, no, we can't. We don't have enough wood to make the staff. Give me this. Give me some more wood. Should be fine. Uh, now. I don't know, you, your guys' choice, yet again, is this considered fire? I don't know, we didn't have enough. Is this considered fire? Is this considered fire? I mean, there's green fire in there. There's green and red fire, I don't know. It's your guys' choice. If I can use that or not, I'll put that in there. I'll sell the ink shot. I don't need that. Oh shit, hey. I'll buy some more of those, why not? Katana. Is that not material? It should be a material. Someone should make that. A mod developer should make that a material for something. But yeah, slime god. Uh, but that means I gotta go back. Stop doing that. What the fuck? I gotta go back to the crimson and see what's popping off over there. Do we get anything special? Is that the only stuff we get really get? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta go to the crimson. Just popping off the uh, bony and slimes or whatever the hell they're called, and we'll gather up the stuff. Ooh, did I get, was that a warning shackle? Look at that. We'll gather up this stuff to fight the slime guy, which I'll actually use potions for him. Cause he's a pretty tough dude. He don't fuck around. So it's actually Thanksgiving. The day I'm recording this. So happy Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna do any specials or anything. I'm just gonna stream later tonight. Actually upload a... I uploaded the Ranger episode. Oh. I uploaded an episode instead of streaming? How often do I do that? I don't know. I gotta get back in... I gotta get back into the schedule here. I've just been streaming like every night. Pretty much every night, any night I get a chance to. It's almost every night. And I really need to get back on the recording grind. I've just been having fun streaming. Plain and simple as that. Get the hell out of here. Somebody told me that uh, the meteor summons count as explosives, or they do explosions. Like plasma explosions if you wear the armor. But uh, yeah, I might have to look into copping those guys. Those guys would be pretty useful. At least one of them. One or two of them. Do I have that summoning thing? Alright, what mod adds in those guys? They spawn a lot. Like, you kill one and another one spawns. I can already hear the other one. Why'd I come down? Oh yeah, bony and gel. This is usually where I find a good bit of slimes. Yeah, I need to figure out what mod those spawn from. And ask if the spawn rates can be turned down. Oh, I don't hear anymore. That's good. That's good, they took a break at least. So yeah, Thanksgiving, happy. Alright, let's go for it. We got everything ready. Is there anyone that can give me something useful? No? I don't think I have anyone that can buff me. So, let's do this. This. I'm ready. Oh, shit. I didn't know he'd be right here. <laughs> Hold up. Maybe this will be the, the go-to right here. Maybe this will be the go-to. So, I have a... Oh, God. No flight. That's what I have. Okay. I don't know if the shit in the bottle gives me more flight or what. But I felt like I went higher up. I was using the warding. The warding. Shackle? There you go. Because that was. I had a lot of good shit on it. Hold up, you. This is going well. I really like this weapon. Oh, God. I'm expecting to be right there. I'm liking this weapon. We got a lot of good healing, so. Let's hope to make sure we get some use out of it. I really need to get some better wings. These wings are not the greatest. But this guy is supposed to be early pre-hard mode boss, so I'll accept the challenge here. I'll accept the challenge in this fight. He'll be on our toes though. Ooh, I didn't expect him to teleport there, I'll be honest. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, we're gonna take a fuck ton of damage from that. Okay, he's gonna teleport. Oh, we're good. As long as you just get away from all those goddamn slimes. Oh my god. Those things hurt like hell. Hurt like hell. Okay. The real boss time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Ooh. That could have been bad. Get everything. Okay. Bail. Those are still there. Fuck, dude. Come on. Oh, my God. Those are still there, too? I didn't expect those to be there. Oh, my God. We did it. Holy shit. That was scary. I felt like I was going to die there. All these, like, balls were everywhere still. Look, that ball is still there, too. Hold up. I want to touch it. Oh. 73 damage, brimstone flames, rapid health loss. Holy shit, that put some crazy debuffs on you. Uh, so let's see what we get from that. I don't think there's anything that'll help me too much. Now that I think about it. Maybe the armor. The armor might be able to help out. 
Uh, I don't think this counts for any any damage that I'm supposed to be doing in this playthrough. Gel darts, they definitely don't do anything. Uh, where's the guy at? Oh, he's over here. They died for a second. But we're all good. Hey, my boy. Maybe I should make this armor. This armor might be pretty good go-to armor. Gunk shot, Gubo. Celtic blade. I don't know. Pretty good armor set. Does it damage? I don't think I have enough. No, I do have. I definitely have enough. I don't think I have enough health stones, but I don't have enough of. I went down to get obsidian, but I used all that obsidian that I got for the bird. So I don't exactly have health stone on me right now. It's all good. It's all good. We gotta go back to hell to get more though. So I guess right now what we'll do is explore. Don't. Okay. What direction would it be? Left? Might be left. We're gonna go left and find the meteor. How about that? Here's the meteor. Nice. We should. There should be some uh, new meteor types, actually. New meteor head types. I think there's a mod that adds in like crimson variations. I don't know. I think that's the W1K W1K mod, but like these, these guys are the same. If you can't tell already, these guys are the same. So I'm just gonna get all this enough of it to make a meteorite shit. Hey. Chill out with that. Chill out with that. Pew pew. I already beat your king. Your uh, UFO king out. Like I said, I need to upgrade my uh, materials soon. Not my materials, my accessories soon. Because they're not the greatest. But I think first we should focus on uh, getting some new armor. Yeah, this hopefully is enough. I don't know. I don't, don't want to die right now. They're doing a lot of damage to me. Okay. So let's go ahead and smell all these. Actually, let me put this stuff away. Smell all these. Where's the furnace? Where's the bar? There it is. Yeah, this is more than enough. 64? Hell yeah. Sonic Broadsword. Meteor Head Staff. Okay. So, do I have that summoning shit? Oh, I do have it. Awesome. I don't know why I favored it. Uh, that's awesome. Now I get to do this and then have two of these guys following me around. Let's see their uh, potential damage pop off here. Come on, give me some enemies. Give me some enemies. I just heard a bunch of enemies. You gonna give me no enemies? There's some fucked up shit right there. What the heck? I just heard my NPCs find like two enemies and now there's no one. No one here at all. You kidding me? Kill the blue jay. There we go. Yeah, there's a little explosion. So these guys are gonna help out a little extra DPS here and there, but uh, I guess it's time to let's say gather up our armor. I just need obsidian. I feel like that's really all I need is obsidian. So we're gonna run down there, get obsidian, and then after we do that, uh, we can go ahead and just craft this armor. And hopefully this armor is better. The thing I like about this armor, I think Zoklin adds in that the armor, the obsidian armor does actual things instead of just being a vanity. The velocity. Like, I throw these grenades hard as shit. Like, look at it. What's the, what's the velocity? 50, it's only a 15% increased stone velocity. So, I don't know. If the other armor set, the statistical stuff doesn't give that, I don't know about it. We'll see. We'll see, though. Oh, my God. Yummy obsidian. Mm. Alright, we have a bunch of aerial light bars from the last world. So, hopefully, this is enough to make the wings. Cause that's really all I want to make from that. Why is there a stinger in here? What the fuck? Somebody tell me why there was a stinger in there. <laughs> did I put that in there at some point? I probably did. Didn't even notice. But yeah, aerial bar, aerialite bars. Let's see here. How much do we need to create the stuff we want? Skyline wings. Five, five, and five at an end. Oh, hey, look at that. I think we have all this stuff, don't we? Hello? There you go. It's like stuck. Ooh, perfect. Literally have the perfect amount. This is good. This is gonna be some good shit right here. Hasty, who cares? As long as they work, that's all that matters. Let's put the rest of that stuff. Okay, so. Alright, I'm already out of stuff. Wait, no. Hey, no, I still need more shit. So I made the armor set. Uh, it wasn't the greatest because it takes off the velocity, so I put it up over there. But, uh, you know, whatever. Shit like that happens, I guess. But we are moving in to fight in the wall of flesh. I have to set up an arena. So what block would probably 
Well, not wood block. I guess I need wood. So here we go. To cut down a fuck ton of trees. Mm, yummy. Let's just open up more of these. I'm expecting to get something new from them, but not getting too much golden squirrel. H Hello there. Uh, we can set up the arena, and then we gotta, you know, start crafting new accessories. But we got new wings. That task is done. We're gonna need, uh, I don't know, just stuff that's better in general. Probably the starting with a shield. Do I have the... Is that Urgent? Oh, I think that's Urgent. The one that makes the shield craftable with something else. Mm. It indeed is Urgent. It's all good. What about this? See, yeah, I don't know if I can do that easily. Uh, f armored flurry boots. Where do we go from flurry with flurry boots? Rocket boots. We did fight goblins. Maybe I should look for a goblin too. I might do that actually. So let me just get a bunch of wood, and then on the way down to hell, I'll try and find some gob. I'll find the goblin. Get some boots, you know. Try and get some lightning boots popping off because we really need some good, some good ass accessories for the wall flesh. Even though I feel like we can probably beat the wall flesh really easily. We'll see. So my boy moved in. Not moved in. I found him and I got him to move in. And go ahead. I crafted the specter boots. Now we just need an aglet. Oh, what am I doing? Move that down there. Aglet. Five at a loom. Okay, that sounds like the easiest. We'll do that one. How about that? Do I have silk? I can make silk. Just five of it. Nice, simple five. Boom. And now at a loom. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, hold up. Let's say that. Not loom. That, oh, wait, yeah, it is at a loom. Everything was at the loom. Boom. Aglet, and then we combine all that. Lightning boots. Can we go anywhere else from here? That's the real question. So that's my boy Dylan. Oh yeah, we can make the ice skates. Okay, the ice skates aren't too bad. I mean, might as well make these. Just get everything upgraded to as far as we can. Hermes boots. Should have boomerang. Okay. We should have Hermes boots. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we can just straight up make it. Hey, look at that. Thank you. Nice and easy. Okay, from here, can we go anywhere else? This is the real question. I don't remember if we can go anywhere from here. Uh, Angel Treads. No, we cannot make that. Elemental. Well, we can make these. These are material. Uh, whoa. Hmm. Permanent Swiftness buff. I, d I just want to save for the Angel Treads. That's pretty much what I want to save up for. So, boom, there's that. So, these are the accessories I'm probably going to rock this fight. Might get rid of that, I don't know. It's not terrible, it's not great either at the same time, but I don't have too many good accessories as it is. There's nothing here that I look at it and I'm like, I need that for this fight. Literally none of them. <laughs> but I'm gonna reforge a bunch of these until I get warding on all of them, because that would that would just be the smart thing to do. No, I wanna talk to Dalek. There we go. So make sure everything is warding, that is warding. We're gonna spend a lot of money on these two, aren't we? Hmm, that's not bad. This one. Yeah, ooh, see, I don't know about the price on that. Okay, I got armored on these. I spent like two platinum almost. Holy shit. I'll take, I'll take armored. Armored is fine. Well, yeah, I still gotta record these too. And then, maybe I'll use a bunch of dice. I feel like some dice would be good to use on them. See if we can get some extra health or something, extra defense. So, I have an idea with this fight. And this can either go extremely wrong or extremely well. We will see. But uh, I'm gonna hope that it goes extremely well. Because it's the only thing we can hope at this point. So, let's do this. Let us do this. I'm gonna start with this, okay? This is what we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna see how this how this works out, okay? I'm hoping. Oh, I didn't mean to open up the recipe thing. I'm hoping that this works out well, okay? I saw this in a video. It means it has to work, right? Is it hitting him? I don't think any of these are hitting me. Come on, explode fast. Throw these directly on the floor. Boom. Throw some hits right there. Okay, this is not working out. This is not working out how I thought it would work out. So, <laughs> we're just going to go to plan B then. Which is, uh, toss this man's salad a couple of times over. Yeah, what are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? So, I want to try and use a dynamo. But obviously, my placement was a little bit garbage. 
so uh, that didn't work out exactly how I thought it was gonna. So we gotta somewhat hurry up here because I don't know how long we've got until the bridge ends. Uh, so we should be. Oh god, we don't got a lot of time, do we? <laughs> okay, we need to we need to hurry this up then. Tossing this goddamn eye. Take, take, take. Oh no, there's all kinds of bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Fuck. All right, attempt number two. Let's hope this goes better. I don't know. You can only hope, right? You can only hope. Uh, this one I'm gonna start right here. All right, this ain't working out at all. Holy shit! Is it me? Is there like a million hungries? The fuck is this? Wait, this is the wall flesh are walking towards? No, okay, I was about to say. There's a lot of hungry here. Okay, I'm having trouble. Oh, there we go. Let's get rid of these boys. This is the thing I hate about the wall flesh the most on extra room, is the hungry. They're so annoying. But once you get rid of a couple of them, then like things become better, I guess. So let's just keep chucking these grenades. Just the goals to hit them with the grenades. Ooh, more hungries are spawning back in. This is gonna be a really slow fight, isn't it? All flesh might have the upper hand on this. Be 100% honest. Oh my God, I really don't like this. I just don't feel. I don't feel like I'm doing a lot. Okay. All good. It's all good. Just keep going. Keep going. Okay. Going well though. The hungries are kind of spreading out, the thinning. Okay. It's getting harder now. It's picking up space. Space, pace. It's picking up pace. Okay. So many fucking hungries. Get out of the way. I'm trying to kill him. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Okay. Okay. We're about to die. Switch, switch. Last second switch. This ain't gonna work out. We're at the end of the line. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Just die already. You got a thousand health. Okay. Okay. I'm not able to hit him right now. He's been covered off a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, his health didn't go down, like, at all. Why does it say there's another wall of flesh? Like, I don't know about this, guys. This is a tough fight right here. It's because the fucking the hungries. I don't throw grenades fast enough to take out all the hungries. That's my problem. This is really slow. We need something to make that pace pick up while fighting him. But, uh, I don't know. We gotta keep on reevaluating here. I'm kind of running out of potions. So we're taking a break from the wall of flesh to flesh out another plan. Ha! <laughs> what, we're playing? No, alright, so. Hold on, did my volume save? Okay. I had a crash the second time I'm recording. This this me going over here, that is. I didn't actually fight the queen jellyfish yet, which is what we're doing. And we're going to be fighting her because she drops pink, pink gel. And I don't have a lot of pink gel. And now what pink gel will be used for is making bouncy grenades, which by default does a lot more damage than regular grenades. So I'm hoping this plan can help out. I don't know. We'll have to see, though. Hey, we, didn't, we don't have the diver yet either. So this, I feel like this is going to you know, be a useful thing either way. And we also get some uh, extra gear. Do I have to fight all the bosses again? Maybe I might have to fight all the bosses. Maybe I'll do it on the stream. We'll see. But well, we got about like 12 minutes or something left on this episode. So we'll see how uh, how far we get. Maybe we won't even beat the wall for this episode. I don't know. But I have high hopes that we will. And I need a weapon that isn't this to carry me. Because this weapon obviously cannot hit the wall of flesh and also kill the minions. Thanks to me. We need something that can do that. How much pink gel did I get? Oh my god, I got fucking eight. I got eight pink gel from that. This is not gonna be fun. <laughs> Only eight per? Oh god. Okay, you get more pink gel once you open up the treasure bag. So it's not bad. Hopefully we get enough. I don't know how much we need for the grenade. Uh, is it bouncy? Bouncy grenade. So, it's two grenades and then one. Okay, how much do you need? 199. Alright, this is doable. This is totally doable. All right, two more. All right, we have 142 pink gel. So I'm hoping we should be fine here. We get two per. Yeah, we're looking good. Did I just throw one? No, I didn't, okay. We're looking good. And we should be fine there, boom. Now we go to the crystal, is it crystal? No, what am I saying? Crystal ball, endless. And uh, the tinkers work. There you go. 
I figured it out. Don't worry. 9% speed. So now we do a little bit more damage. 87, 94, which is always good. Now, the question is, should I attempt to upgrade my armor? We'll lose the velocity, but we're using bouncy grenades, so velocity may not matter anymore. We can try and get the uh, bronze alloy set, which is not a bad set at all. And uh, that might be something we want to look into doing for this fight. So I think that's my what I, that's my what I, that's my, that is what I might go for. There you go. And we'll see from there that if that should be enough, because that has a lot of AOE on it. Uh, and that being the Zeus armor set or whatever it's called. The bronze, I think it's just called bronze armor set. Yeah. But yeah, it has a lot of uh, AOE damage on it. I don't see a reason not to get it. But uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys in a second. Let me try and farm up this armor real quick and we'll see what we can do from there. Alright, so we should have enough for the armor set. I'm hoping this armor set will upgrade our damage at least. But the AOE effect, the little lightning effect, that should put us over too, I hope. So 94 throwing damage. Let's make the whole set. And then let's see if I go up from there. Oh, do I not have enough? Shit. Damn, I thought I had enough. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, we should have enough now, I hope. It's 20, right? Yeah, it's 20. Boom. Damage, please go up. Oh, it went down. How? How did it go down? <laughs> Is it because the AOE shit? It's probably the AOE shit, isn't it? 15% increased throwing damage. Shit, dude. Melee and throwing damage. I think it's because it's a cross set, isn't it? Close quarters. Hmm. I don't know then. Oh god, and we lose the velocity? Are the lightning bolts really worth it? I don't know, I think I just wasted a bunch of time. Okay, so we're only hoping for the best at this point. Uh, I don't know what the best is anymore. Not death is what the best is. I don't even care that we don't have all our summons in. I just care about winning this. There's so many hungries. The thing about this fight is the fucking hungries. But we're just gonna chuck grenades the whole entire fight. I don't even, I don't even care that much about anything else. At least I wanna chuck grenades the whole entire fight unless these guys say otherwise. These guys are kind of saying otherwise right now. Just keep on getting in the way. Excuse me. It'd be very nice if you guys get out of the way for me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Down to like half health. Not bad. Great here. Oh god. We're getting awfully close. Okay. Kind of summoning in a bunch of guys now. See, it's just the damage I started taking. Okay, okay, bouncing off of them. Oh my god, I think we're gonna die health this time. We're gonna lose all our health before we even get to do anything else. I think we lose again. <laughs> it's the fucking hungry. It's always the problem I have with these guys. No one else in this fight. All flesh is garbage. It's the hungry see something. Come on, we're getting there. We're hitting them. Get out of the way. I got 10 seconds before I heal. Everybody just move, please. I almost have this in the bag. Uh oh, no way! You can't do me like that. You can't do me like that. Oh. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. So you know what? Where is he at? Aha! We cut him off. We cut him off. We're not losing this. Can't take this W from me this time. Look at that. So that's the cool thing about the Wall of Flesh. He doesn't actually despawn. He doesn't actually despawn if you die. He still chills down here. So if you have a spawn set like very close down here, you can actually still fight the dude. So uh, that's exactly what's about to go down. But did you see my dude gunning? Get a fucking Gatling gun on him. Alright, there we go. We did it. Complete legit. Alright. Holy shit. Finally. Went so goddamn long for that. It was three fights, and I took like an hour to prepare. So this could be like a three-hour episode if there was no cuts at all. But uh, luckily for you guys, there is cuts. Luckily for me. 
don't have to render a video that long if there wasn't cuts. Okay, uh, you can have all this shit. I don't, I don't care about it. Everything else, though, I'll, I'll keep for now. I'll keep for now. Hey, the plan was working, but I just got, like, my asshole decimated at the end. So, let's put that away. Don't think I'll ever really use that demon trophy. Probably won't ever. Uh, put that away. Laser rifle. I don't, is this, can this make, a uh, good weapons? I don't have a guide. Okay, we'll just check like this then. We will just check like this. Go to all recipes, let's see what's popping here. No. So I'll just sell it. I'll just sell it to a young Yurimir. Alright, so boom, there we go. That's all. I think we, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish in this episode. And thank God for that, because I was tired of fighting him. Now, uh, we don't have a guide. So there's not too many things I can ask him, but moving into hard, hard mode. There's a lot more weapons that open up to us in hard mode. And one of the first being, who do we talk to here? I think it's, uh, let's talk to Archer first. Aha, there you go, Hellfire Arrows. So that's one of the first things that open up in hard mode. And being able to buy a fuck ton of these. We're gonna grab 1k of these. All these other arrows you can keep. Cause I don't need them anymore. Uh, and the next step being, get rid of this goddamn murderous tendon bone. Bone. Bow. I don't want this shit anymore unless I can make it like cool looking bow. <laughs> See, think about the. Not even the moon striker, but think about the hemorrhage. Or whatever the hell the other bow is. Uh, they don't shoot regular arrows, so like. I don't want to make that. The other bow is the non hemorrhage. The one you make with the crimson no, corruption stuff. So we'll, we'll keep this, but. Don't expect me to use it. But can I just type in bow? Will stuff come up? See, I think the cool bows, they don't, they're not just named bow. Gubo. It's Gubo. Flare wing. FFV. Cosmic rainbow. There's some cool looking bows, though. Clockwork bow. That sounds sweet. Luminite, though. Ooh. That's very late game. The Lunarian doesn't sound too bad to make. The Bees, Knees, and Molten Fury. Sea bow. Oh, yeah, my favorite. There was a bow, an antline bow, right? Oh, I made a throat noise there, I burped. But it wasn't like externally. Okay, uh, dark steel. Repeaters are really fast. So maybe I can cop a repeater. Oh, how about granite? Granite crossbows, is this very fast? Slow speed. No, it turns them to granite arrows too. So seven and three, dark steel cores. I don't know if I have any of that. To be honest, what do I need for knight's alloys? I need the steel cores either way, which I don't have. Shit, that's too bad, isn't it? All right, so I guess in the meantime, until we get that specific bow, we can probably cop out and just make, where is it? This bow out of the danger she sheed. Danger sheed. Place it, place it. There you go. And that is the danger dual shot. Dang, dingy danger dual shot because this bow fires two arrows and having two arrows at once it's like double the damage look at that that's pretty nice and let's get a good reforge on it too while we're at it awkward Ooh, that's pretty clean so great start upon entering hard mode we already got the corruption crimson uh spreading right next to us so it's a good thing love that Ooh, this thing has pretty nice velocity velocity and speed are pretty good I mean, it's not the fastest, not the slowest. Either. I don't know how well this will be, though, against hard mode enemies. <laughs> but, uh, at least not that bad. We will obviously get upgrades. And I was thinking about trying to get the Hellwing. But then I was like, eh, fuck it, who cares? But, uh, we're gonna have. If I already guess, we're gonna have some struggles early in. Oh my god, look. The corruption's like right here. It's already right next to us. <laughs> and it already took over a bunch of trees and shit. Corruption, why do I keep saying corruption? Why do I switch it to all the time? Crimson. So let's head underground. And uh, let's see what's popping off with the crimson down here because I wanna see if there's some goodies we can get. I wanna see if there's some good souls of night because having souls of night easily accessible, souls of night is always a good thing. Come on. Ow. Hit the enemy. 
There we go. They hit him eventually. Oh. Sneak those arrows in there. Eh. Eh. Boom. I really want to get a fast mount that doesn't fly right now. And one of those mounts would have to be like... Well, there's only one other mount that I think I can get right now. And that is the vanilla mount. From the goddamn... What are they called? Uh... Basilisk? Yeah, the Basilisk. You can get the Basilisk now. Look how much gold is right there. Is that gold? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. How much gold is that? Ooh, 10? Hell yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one hour episode. Hopefully, this character is back in action. I hope he hiatuses. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, the thing I said about streaming early on, make sure you guys comment about that, whether I should do shit like that or not. Stream episodes, but like. Stream the one hour episodes and have them be planned out more so it would not just be like a random one hour stream where I don't do much. But uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. Man, you